I see Guy hasn't changed, working late as usual. Yeah, sorry. He's at a business meeting with some associates, mapping out some targets and projections for the forthcoming year. And how about your flatmate, Lee? Laser quest. <laughs> ah, boyfriend or flatmate? Toby and Fliss are brokers. Brokers what? <laughs> Can't be as broke as me. I'm as broke as... More wine. <laughs> uh, we're old friends of Guy. We're just over from Zurich for a while. It's in Switzerland. <laughs> you got a cuckoo clock? <laughs> used to have one when I was a kid. Cuckoo fell off. My mum replaced it with a plastic elephant. <laughs> Didn't make a noise, but it never forgot to come out. <laughs> One, two. Is this on? <laughs> if cuckoo clocks are a sore point, we can always talk about Nazi gold. <laughs> I prefer Terry's all gold, but a chocolate's a chocolate. <laughs> wow. Guy wasn't exaggerating, was he? So what are you doing here? I mean, so, what are you doing here? Guy asked us round to advise Lucy on her new business venture. What new business venture? It's... Hi there. Oh, we were just talking about you. Oh, all scurrilous and shocking, I hope. <laughs> yep, we said you once kidnapped a prostitute. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Uh, hopefully this makes up for it. Oh, guy, fantastic. Chateau Musar from the Bacar Valley. Oh, it's lovely. It's so... complex. Have you tried this? <laughs> So, have you started the big Expressionist v Classical debate without me? What's going on? Oh, didn't Lucy tell you? She's going to start dabbling in the art-dealing world. Yes, I finally persuaded her there's more to life than running a recruiting agency. And with a little help from me, she's going to be doing her first exhibition soon. Yeah. Guy's got a big empty space above his... Neck? <laughs> Gentleman's club. Oh, you mean lap dancing club. <laughs> yeah, at least the kind of person likes to call a spade a spade. Yeah, and call a stripper a stripper. <laughs> In fact, let's liven this party up. Let's call a stripper. <laughs> so what do you know about art? Lots, actually. I like the surrealists. Dali, Dada, Dido. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about me. What are you guys planning to do whilst you're here? Well, actually, there's an adaptation of a Dostoevsky novel at the Barbican. Ah, Dostoevsky. If there is no God, then everything is allowed. Oh, Dostoevsky. What's he like? <laughs> <laughs> it's from the brothers Karamazov. To me, to you, to me, to you. <laughs> it's from the brothers Chuckle. Anyway, I would love to stay and chat, but I'm off to the pub to meet your brother. Oh, not on our account, I hope. No, I always buy my own drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Which is more than could be said for Dostoevsky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> anyway, I've got to go, otherwise I'm going to take my own life. <laughs> Here's a good game. Boat impressions. Me first. A small dinghy without bob motor disappearing into the distance. <laughs> How come we never talk about the stuff that other people talk about? What stuff? You know, theatre, wine, politics. OK, let's talk about politics. All right. What do you think of the government? <laughs> I can't be asked. <laughs> Join us next week on Question Time when we'll be in St Albans. How many books do you read in an average year? I don't know. About 12. Or 12 and a Jilly Cooper if it's a leap year. <laughs> what about you? One. One book a year? One book in the last five years, actually. <laughs> well, if you've read one book, you've read them all, haven't you? I actually can't speak. <laughs> Am I thick? 
Of course you're not thick. It's like madness, isn't it? The very fact that you question your sanity means you still have it to question with. Likewise, if you're wondering if you're intelligent, you must at least be intelligent enough to wonder. <laughs> what book was it? Whatever you want, the status quo story. <laughs> Blimey, you are thick, aren't you? <laughs> so, what's brought all this on? Guy's got some of his arty friends round the flat talking about stuff like Russian literature. Ah, don't worry about that type. Those sort always pretend to know more than they do. They know about Dusty Springfield or whatever he's called. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know if what they're saying is right, do you? You believe them if they said that the follow-up to Anne Frank's diary was called Anne Frank, The Edge of Reason. <laughs> the point is, it's easy to sound like an expert in anything if you say it with enough confidence. Do you reckon? Yeah, I should know. I did an open university course in social interaction, focusing on communication techniques and behavioural assimilation. Did you? No, see, I told you it was easy. <laughs> You're back early. Doesn't mean I'm thick. <laughs> you know, we're going to an exhibition on East European art next Friday. Why don't you come along with us, Lucy? You might pick up some tips. Although, let's be fair with the girl. It's not exactly our specialised subject, is it? I mean, the only thing we know about East European art is that old joke. How do you get a Polish sculptor to create something minimalist? <laughs> you tell him the marbles from Russia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> Actually, a lot of Polish artists are becoming increasingly minimalist. And they're not using marble much at all nowadays. In fact, they're working in stuff like alabaster and other more malleable materials. <laughs> Just wait. This will be a setup to a joke. I did an open university degree course in East European art. See? What did I say? <laughs> it was back in the early 90s. I've told you this before. No, you haven't. God, you've got selective hearing, fatty. What? So you heard that, didn't you? <laughs> So, are there any particular Eastern European artists that you admire, Lee? Uh... Jelinski. <laughs> and Paulinski. <laughs> Georginski. Ringoinski. <laughs> John, Paul, George and Ringo... Inski. It's an old observation. You're not the first to spot it. They were known as the Fab Four Inskis. <laughs> Sounds like we're in the presence of a real expert. Maybe we should all go along to this exhibition together. Oh, actually, I can't make Friday. I've got teenagers to blind. <laughs> oh, but uh, you must, Lee. I'm sure those teenagers can think of some other way of blinding themselves. <laughs> we need you to illuminate us with your cultural knowledge. <sighs> OK, <laughs> why not? I can't think of a better Friday night than a pint of lager and an in-depth discussion about minimalism and Dostoevsky. You tend not to do lager at art exhibitions. Oh, like that was the important bit. Well, here's to Friday. <laughs> oh, I hope the wine finds favour with your unexpectedly educated palate, Lee. It's all right. Could be colder. 